Having brought back the curvaceous figure to the catwalk, Brazilian Giselle Bunchen is the face of today's supermodels and the first choice for many of the world's top designers. According to reports by Forbes magazine, Bunchen is the highest paid model in the world, making her one of the wealthiest women in the fashion industry. She has put her face to more than 20 international labels and has appeared on the cover of more than 500 magazines. As a teenager, she joined a modeling course with her sisters, and the following year she was discovered and placed into modeling competitions. She was placed second in the Elite Look of the Year competition and received fourth place at the World Contest in Ibiza. By 1996, she had moved to New York, where her modeling career took off after her introduction at Fashion Week. By the late 90s, her face was on the cover of some of the world's most famous fashion magazines and in recent years has broadened her exposure by making appearances in other publications such as Time magazine and Forbes. Bunchen is now among the most famous supermodels in the world and has become one of the most powerful figures in the fashion industry, strutting international catwalks and appearing in print and TV ads for Victoria's Secret and other fashion labels. She began modeling for the iconic lingerie brand Victoria's Secret in the late 90s and in 2000 was recruited as one of the Victoria's Secret Angels, which are the world-renowned representatives of the brand. Hi, this is Giselle. I'm here today at the Victoria's Secret photo shoot, shooting the new Victoria's Secret fantasy bra. In 2005, she was the lucky angel to present the multi-million dollar fantasy bra. And last year, Tara wore it and before Heidi wore it, so I feel very honored. This is the 2005 Sexy Splendor Fantasy Bra, and the reason why it's called Sexy Splendor is because it's the name of this 101 karat stone. For the ultimate in lingerie luxury, Victoria's Secret 12.5 million dollar Sexy Splendor Fantasy Bra, worn by Bunchen, featured 101 karat flawless pear-shaped diamond, 2,900 parvi set diamonds, 22 ruby gemstones, and was crafted in 18 karat white gold. The fantasy bra was created exclusively for Victoria's Secret by a Paris-based jeweler and took over 300 hours to create. She has appeared in the famous Victoria's Secret swimsuit catalogue, which is sent out to millions of people worldwide, and was also on hand in 2006 to accept from Hollywood's honorary mayor Johnny Grant the key to the city, which was presented to the Victoria's Secret models. However, 2007 saw Giselle end her long and successful relationship with the lingerie company in order to pursue other options. She has had a long-running collaboration with Brazilian label Culchi, which have become best known for securing the supermodel for their campaigns and catwalks. She has been the main attraction at a number of catwalk shows over the years, bringing with her hundreds of fans and journalists, all trying to get a peek at their own hometown superstar. It has been described that Giselle's supermodel presence on the runway has helped to keep the Brazilian brand's DNA alive. She was also chosen as the star of the ad campaign and collection for the Italian eyewear company Luxottica Group, who kicked off the first American campaign for their Vogue eyewear line in 2006. But not just a model, Giselle also launched her own line of sandals, which became the most sold Brazilian sandal in the world. In mid-2008, she presented her new collection of summer sandals to journalists in Berlin. The collection, known as G2B, has been created together with designer Mark Ibanema. Part of the profits from this collection will even go towards the preservation of groundwater sources in Brazil. She's modeled for Dolce & Gabbana and was one of Galliano's catwalk queens when celebrating Christian Dior's 60th anniversary. So it seems that Giselle Bunchen is definitely one of the most sought-after models, so it's no wonder she's one of the most successful and highest-paid supermodels in the world.